Oroville Dam update March 29th, 2017. So I wasn't going to do another video on this Oroville Dam situation until we could see a little bit more in terms of the damage that's occurred uh, from the la this, this first so-called yo-yo run of the primary spillway, the damaged primary spillway. And also until they you know, came out with some officialdom on what they're going to do design-wise to deal with this thing, with the whole complex in the future, really. So, uh, but at any rate, I was looking at the, some of the stills from the DWR video that they released on the 27th. And I'm looking at the, the channel there before the water flow had been completely shut off. I think at that point it was 30,000. And it looked, I'm going, I'm going, geez, that looks like a big, big old boulder, you know, must have fallen off from the sides from there somewhere. And I'm looking around going, I don't see any place where it fell from. So I went back and I found some images from right after they had to shut the spillway off after the, you know, the first, you know, like crisis run, if you will, after, Mar after uh, February 12th. And um, so I'm looking at that section and there's a, there's a piece of the, uh, the spillway, small piece of concrete for the, the spillway that's up on the left hand side, of that big piece of ledge there that I'm, I, I use as a reference. And so the image up now, you can see that little pattern in the middle of this boulder that seems to have fallen in the channel. And then when you go to the other image, lo and behold, you see that pattern on the, on the boulder but it's instead now embedded completely in that whole face of, of bedrock there, of ledge. And yeah, my goodness, it, it certainly shows that there was, there was a pretty significant amount of erosion, particularly as you would expect up near that, that first plunge pool, because that's where the, the biggest water velocity is going to be. But it just goes to show that this, the meter is running whenever they have to open these spillway gates now. There's no doubt about that. There's not you know, how significant that erosion is and what the rest of this uh, erosion looks like down that, you know, all the way down to the, the, uh, all the way down the channel there, we'll see. But that's not a good sign. That was a pretty fair amount of real estate that got wiped out in 10 days. So um, they'll have to keep an eagle eye on it. Um, anyways, just a quick follow-up video. Thanks for watching. Give a like, subscribe, etc. Thanks.